here, this is our water jump pit. We have a cover on it. It is 12 feet from the barrier to this edge. This line is nine feet. If they land on or past this line, then, then they will clear the hurdle with, with the second foot. So that's what we want to do is take one step on the hurdle, the next step here or past, and the, the next step out of the pit with, with, a, sec, with a second foot. Uh, so, some coaches practice the, the water jump into the sand pit. I tried that once and I, I'd never do it again because you land in the sand pit in soft sand, the next f two steps are also soft sand. You don't want to do that. You want to get used to what you're doing. The, you will hear the give in this as they go. If you're serious about steeple chasing, you should have a good cover that you can, can step on and run on like this. And there's a little bit of give. We will, when we do our intervals, we will do, whenever we do over a hurdle, we'll go over the water jump too. They'll just do a couple of practices here. They should put their foot on the hurdle not, and not have the heel below the, the barrier as it lands on it. Up on top, right? Very good. See how it pushed off? So they're, they're landing past the, the nine foot line. That's why you have the nine foot in there. And when we, we ha when we do our interval hurdles, we do it this way so they get used to doing this during, a, during the uh, workouts all the time. Now, these guys haven't done this for two years and look how easy it is. You can hear the give and as they land on this. So this is as good or better than the sand plus they land in flat. I don't, I wouldn't do the water itself too often. So it's just a smooth run right, right off of it. Now this time they're going to be run, running together. So it's more like in, in, in a race. And David, the one on this side, uh, hesitated a little bit going into the hurdle that time. Didn't get quite as good as the push off. I always say that the the hurdles is for the uh, distance hurdler. The water jump is for the spectators. Uh, the water jump is the easiest thing to do. All you got to do is do away with the fear factor. And if it's talked about right and handled right, that's very easy to do. And it's a compared to, it's an easy move. And he's going to do it. See, he, he would have landed both feet uh, in the water, just to, the second foot would have been a little bit, but it was still past the nine foot mark. See, his second foot almost cleared, the, would have almost cleared the, the water jump. The, the, one of the times to do this, the time to do this is if you got a really good hurdler and he can run his last lap in 60, 62 seconds or around that area, 62 or 63, then it's a good time to, to do this because it's harder to put your foot on top if, if you're running that fast.